Hi class, let's now review um, Tuesday's daily math review. So let's start so we can check it. Tuesday. All right, so first we have a question about money. Write the amount and I'm gonna go to the extra mile. We're gonna write it both ways. We're gonna do dollar form and cent form. Um, let's go ahead and start with dollar form. So, uh, sorry, cent form. So $1 is the same as most of us know that 100 cents. So I'm gonna write one, oh, that was too big. Let's try that again. 100 cents and then 20 uh, that is called a quarter and that's 25 cents and that's 10 cents if we add all of those together because i like to do it by lines we're gonna get and i don't have much room so 135 cents 100 plus 25 <clears throat> is 125 125 plus 10 135 so we added all of those together i can even cross them out to make sure i remember those i've already added um so another way we can do it is just going ahead and writing the numbers at the bottom so i'm going to go ahead and do one dime is 10 cents right 10 and then that's a one so now we're at 11 cents another one now we're at 12 cents and then now this one is how much 25 cents if we do 25 plus 12 we don't even have to regroup we're gonna get 37 cents now let's add all of those together so we're gonna have 135 plus 37 five plus seven, we do have to regroup here because we get more than 10 and you use whatever strategy you want for the sake of time, I'm doing it a little faster. So three plus three is a double, it is six and then a double plus one, six plus one is seven. Okay, and then we have one, so we have 172 cents. Remember this is cents, not dollars, so not the same thing. So 172 cents, and that is the same as, remember how I taught you that if you erase the sign, the cent sign goes last, the dollar sign goes first, all you have to do is go two digits back, so we take and then we put our dot there, right? So that makes it a dollar and 72 cents. One dollar and then with the little it's a decimal, with our little coin, we go into the coins, we go into the cents, one dollar and when we put the dot we say and 72 cents so let me put that back how it was so that is all of your work that i expect you to show for that one now we have how long is the marker we're going to always look at our ruler and see what units are we measuring in in this case it says centimeters remember very important to remember what unit we are measuring in so we are always also going to put our pencil in the air and mark the start and the end line, which this one starts at the 2 and ends at the 14. So all of you know already, if I say that it's 14, I got lazy and I didn't look at what? That it doesn't start at the zero. It does not start here. It starts at the two. So I'm going to do 14 minus two is one option, or I can do my jumps. And I'm gonna do both because I'm gonna do a really great job of showing my work just like you're gonna do. So I'm gonna start at the two, I'm gonna jump one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. If I check my work, got twelve centimeters there. If I check my work, so that way I know that I got it right for sure. Twelve minus two, if I start at twelve and I take away two, twelve, thirteen, 12, sorry, 14, 13, 12. Okay, so that was two taken away and it is 
12 centimeters is the answer, okay? Let's move on and we're gonna make sure this time we have a word problem, so we're gonna highlight our keywords. A block of cheese that is 25 centimeters long, so we have 25 centimeters, is cut into two pieces. It's cut, we had an action, okay? Our action says that we are going to get smaller. We are cutting it and we're cutting it into how much? We're cutting it into, uh, let's do it, two pieces, okay? Two pieces. Cutting, let's finish reading it before we decide. One piece is 11, 13 centimeters long. Sorry guys, one piece is 13. Okay. And then how long is the other piece? So we're looking for the other piece. Let's go ahead and draw our block of cheese. So I've got a block of cheese. And that whole block of cheese is 25 centimeters long. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into two pieces. And I have a piece that's 13. I know that one of my pieces is 13. And remember, this is a part. What are we missing, it looks like? It looks like we're missing a part. So I need to write my number sentence. And um, remember, if we have a hole and we're missing a part, we are always going to subtract. So that means our hole, 25 minus 13 equals what? I'm gonna go ahead and tell you it equals 12 centimeters. Our centimeters are important. There are units. 25 what? 12 what? Miles? Centimeters, yards, we gotta know, okay? Our solution sentence, we're gonna write in words. How long is the other piece? The other piece, okay, is 12 centimeters long, okay. Um, so that is it for the Tuesday Daily Math Review. Um, let me know if you have any questions and have a great Wednesday, I guess it is now. All right, bye.